An island favorite is coming back. That would be the Koku race. And speaking of back, Josh and Renee are back in studio. Half a day. Half a day. Hey, and hey, welcome hey. back. You Thanks. guys smile so much. I enjoy it. Something. Yeah, yeah. All the, we're happy people. <laughs> exactly. You know, all this teeth and everything like that just takes all the takes all the rain away here on Guam. We're, we're happy to have you guys and happy that you guys are basically spearheading the Koku race again. Oh yeah, yes. we're really excited, and it, this time it's going to be in a different uh, village for starters, and it's going nice. to be even better than ever. Okay, yeah. Renee. Right. Some people would say changing the venue of a 5K is crossing that border between strategic and crazy. Where, where are you guys moving to? Strategic. We're Strategic. moving uh, to Hagatnya. Nice. So it's actually going to be a much flatter course, which so far we've been receiving a lot of great reviews on. People are happier that it's going to be a flatter course. It runs more along the ocean through villages of Nigua, PD. It's oh, nice. nice. Course. And there's a little bit of a curve there on a, a, on a couple bit, of but occasions. Still not yeah. bad. Yeah, you're not, you're not doing like a 90 yeah. degree turn or anything like that. Yeah, so if anybody's ever been thinking of stepping up from the 5K to the 10K or 10K to the half marathon, this is a good course to do it. Okay, so exactly where does the course begin and end? Because most people say, okay, you're in again, you're either going through Skinner Plaza or you're just going from Adeloupe over to Chamorro Village and back. So right. where does this one take What's place? What's unique about this course is we're going to start in front of Chamorro Village and we're actually going to head north, but mm -hmm. for a very brief period of time, we turn right onto Route 4 and then right onto Chalan Santo Papa. So we're going to run in front of the church, in front of Guam Museum, and then take a right at Aspinall, heading back to Route 1 and then south for the rest of the way. And then you reach your turnaround, come back, and everyone finishes at Chamorro Village. Very nice. So you also get a lot of shade, Josh, which is important. Oh, yeah, lots of the shade. The Guam Museum well, actually it, keeps you cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we're starting off at the time when there's not going to be much sun. But by the time you finish, you should be greeting the, the sunrise. But it's going to be great because we have all these iconic sites of Guam down in our capital city. We're taking tourism outside of Tumon, placing it down in the heart of our capital. It's gonna just be great just to have everyone there. Um, the Akiden Relay won't be in this uh, this race uh, this in this year, but uh, we replaced it with the 5K and we're, we're gonna be expecting a lot of people uh, to sign up for that too, so. Okay, so that having been said, what different types of divisions do you have? So I'm assuming, Renee, you already said there's a 5K, a 10K, yes. half and full marathon? Not full marathon, just Not a full. half marathon. No. Okay, very nice. And how many miles is that? 13.1. That is not easy. <laughs> and I say no. that because I, I don't even know if I've walked 13.1 miles this <laughs> month, much less like in, in a single morning. That's okay. You have about eight weeks to train for it, yeah. Jason. Okay. Yeah. Plenty we'll, of we'll, time. Yeah, yeah, we'll get on that wink, wink. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> but we just want to encourage everyone to kind of sign up by August 31st because they're going to be getting a lot of new uh, uh, just... Yeah, I Swag. heard they brought the breakfast back. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah, <laughs> nice. The that we're have our serving It's like breakfast. you guys signed this or something. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're gonna get your finish your tea, your medal, and then we're gonna serve you breakfast after. And you're sunglasses. Done. Oh yes. Don't forget about the sunglasses. Oh yeah, the sunglasses cool. are different too this yes. year. We it's like it Christmas in August with you guys. <laughs> so exciting. Very nice. Very excited. <laughs> okay, so so now that everybody's appetite is properly wet, mm -hmm. um, where can people register? Um, Online at. GuamCocoRoadRace.com. Mm -hmm. oh, very nice. And we also do have a kiosk at the front desk of Pacific Islands Club. If you need assistance uh, going through the login procedure or registration procedure, we can help you there. Oh, very yeah. excellent. Okay, so um, let's talk about some training tips right now. Um, assuming people are going to do either the half marathon or the 10K. Uh, Josh, you said we're eight weeks out. We're about eight weeks out. Okay, what the should people day. be doing as far as diet training tips you know um, get, getting ready in that time i think really just like the main thing is just to get started with your cocoa training so uh you know plan a run with a group of your friends or uh, just maybe two or three times a week and just uh build up your miles uh as you get closer to race day um you know clean up clean up your your diet if you want uh, but don't restrict yourself from eating what you what you, you want to mm -hmm. um, the most important thing is to have fun with this and so you know we encourage uh Bring your friends, bring your family to this. Um, you know, come let them cheer for you, uh, let them roam with you. Like it's just gonna be awesome just to come together as a community uh, and our visitors and, and island residents together just uh, celebrating this race. This has been uh, our 12th year, right? 12th year. This is gonna be our 12th year uh, for Coco. And so it's, it's great that we have a new race. Uh, I know that changing up the route is always brings new energy. And so we just want that energy uh, to be saturated for race day on October 29th. Very nice. So, Renee, I know, again, if you're pulling off 13.1 miles in a morning, if you're a Fitbit user, that means you clear <laughs> 30,000 steps in one shot. Yeah. So, yeah. so how would you recommend people get ready? Yeah, just uh, start, look online for a training program. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, there's plenty on there. There's apps that help you, like RunKeeper, that's one that I use, or MyFitnessPal is another one. Uh, if you want to look into getting a watch, the Fitbit, or like a Garmin also helps you a lot. Mm -hmm. Just by tracking and pacing, find groups. There's plenty of groups that are going to out there doing running clinics. You know, Run Guam, one of our sponsors, they do runs. Check out their website. They do, they'll do it like, they'll post it when they're going to do it. The Guam Running Club also does some right. runs. So, so there's a lot of people that are out there and love running. And once you start talking about it, we all love to talk about it. So. Yeah. You'll learn tips, you'll learn different things about uh, strategies, interval training, speed work, all that stuff. That comes. Just just start is the mm. point. And Guam's running community is so embracing and so... I love it. So cordial. Yes. Yeah. There's so much joy in that. You know, like the, there's no chippiness, there's no like drama and everything. Everybody yeah. gets along. Yeah, I think it's just... And it, it's grown over the years. Like just it's this revolution that just kind of just has taken hold of Guam. And I love it because different levels of fitness just everyone comes together for it and so uh, with with Coco I think this is a celebration of our love for fitness and our love for each other uh, just coming together as a community all right well we got eight weeks out so we're gonna have you guys back on to update us on how yes. planning continues to go for Coco yes Run. but you know definitely want to encourage everyone to sign up before August 31st they'll also be eligible to get a Coco training tee by Run Guam I learned and so uh, we, we we saw a sneak preview of it it's really nice and all right we're gonna well, be unveiling that in the well, the boss, Bruce Springsteen, said it best himself, everybody. Baby, we were born to run. Yeah. And with that, we're going to go to commercial <laughs> break. So stay tuned. We're back after this.